how surreal is it having known, especially Dugao, knowing what the company does, printing and graphics, and now you're here making face shields for Dugao and Bednark. How has it been to just kind of like live in, live in that and know what you were doing then versus now for the same companies? Um, it's pretty wild. I mean, it, it's, you know, like 100, 180 degrees from, from what they obviously normally do. And uh, to see them be able to do this kind of stuff, um, and the doll obviously, um, you know, they, they're known for their, you know, printing and all that stuff. And, you know, I, I knew them even when I was in, in college for photography, because, you know, obviously the doll's a name that's been around for a long time in, in the art world and photography world. So, um, yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty interesting to see. And, and great to see that some, you know, a company can, uh, can switch gears and, and see the sort of see the see the writing on the wall and make that change. Yeah, and very, so very, very fast switch. I think it was like yep. over a weekend. So you brought your camera down there, um, and have been taking taking pictures, human interest uh, yep. style. Can can you talk about what inspired you to do that and and sure. how often you're doing it and and all that? Yeah, I mean my general inclination is always to bring a camera just always have it with me uh never knowing what's going to happen um it's kind of something that's been ingrained in me from uh many years ago and uh so i always do that and uh so i had it along with me and you know i was just noticed you know while i was working i was just noticing everybody with their masks on and um you know just noticing the different types of people that were there and and I actually took note of one of my uh, my teammates on my on my line. Uh, there's like six or eight of us um, that you know go through the assembly, the part of the assembly line on my team. <clears throat> and her name's Jess, and she was wearing she's a, mur a muralist normally, and she was she was actually the first photo that I did. Um, she was wearing pants that had uh, paint splatter because of her normal normal everyday job. Um, and I thought that was interesting, you know, because they looked interesting. They were, you know, and I'm trying to. There's a, about 150 of us, so I'm trying to capture everybody. Uh, I haven't gotten Mr. Degal yet, but uh, Michael. But I've gotten I've gotten uh, Michael Bednar um, <clears throat> photographed when he was at, he was actually at our station helping out. Um, but I'm just kind of trying to capture everybody, and uh, you know, everyone here is either you know former uh, Degal employees, Bednar employees, or they're you know people from the creative field, it's been re actually really inspiring. It's also, um, it's, it's interesting to me that it's the worker class that's, that's doing this, that, that are the ones that are here, that are, uh, you know, putting the effort in. And, it's, and it has gone beyond, um, beyond just, it's a job. It's gone to like, it's our mission, you know, it's something that we, we enjoy doing. And it's like, uh, we, we see ourselves as part of the, the solution and, and helping out and helping the cause, you know, everybody has their part to play, whether you're, you know, somebody on the front lines of yeah, as medical personnel, or if you're, you know, uh, somewhere, you know, someone being the grocery worker or what have you. And, uh, you know, there's us making the masks and, and the supplies that, that are needed. So. Um, five, 10 years from now, these photos and these people are just, you know, going to be like, wow, I lived in that. Um, yeah, exactly. Just, I, just, you know, very I think inspiring. that was that was really important to me. I mean, um, I didn't know what was going to come of it, um, you know, from the start. I just decided to take the pictures because I thought you want a record. You want to know what we did, and and you want to have you know you want to have that record so that you can you can show people later on that you know this was a thing. This was happening, um, and you know that's you want to you want to show the workers the people that were involved. So yeah, yeah, that. We're wrapping up here too. I know yeah. I don't want to pull you from the line too long, um, but it's it's just great and and going to be great for people to hear this. Um, any uh, chip-ins from like community businesses, lunch, coffee? I know distilleries are making hand sanitizers. Any of that going on? Uh, yeah, for sure. I mean, um, I know they are getting lunches um, uh, brought from different uh, businesses around the area. Uh, Brooklyn Roasting Company has been uh, providing coffee every day, which has been essential. Uh, it's kind of our, our lifeline, our fuel. Um, and I will say, <clears throat> uh, just to add, like, um, in addition to what I'm doing with, with, with here, we deliver PPE to, um, to doctors. So it's called Masks for Docs. And, uh, 
you know, we collect it via motor, I ride motorcycles. So like we collect it via motorcycle and then we, uh, um, we deliver it. So it's kind of like, you know, I have a day job and then my night job is, is kind of, is, is doing that, which has been great and rewarding. And, uh, a lot of people have come to me, you know, saying, you know, how can I help? What can I do? And, you know, this company, Chef's Agency is providing, uh, providing meals for, for nurses and doctors at various hospitals around New York City. All so these photos, how are you putting them all together? Um, is there a series name? How can people follow and, and what can they expect to see more, more of your work on this? Yeah, so like a lot of times I'm, I'm shooting during the day. Uh, I'll go home uh, and edit. And then I usually within a couple of days, I'll upload a lot of the stuff to my Instagram. It's uh, just uh, my name, John Sabanera is my Instagram handle. And the series is called Until Further Notice. The name actually comes from a, um, a sign I saw in the first days of all this, you know, in the first, when we were still kind of like, not so, we were social distancing, but still out and about. And I, uh, I was at the carousel in, in Brooklyn Bridge Park and there was, uh, you know, it was closed down obviously, but there was a sign, a sign there that said closed until, until further notice. There you go. And, you know, people can check out my work and, uh, you know, check it up on Instagram, you know, thank Bednark and Dugal for, uh, you know, doing this and like, uh, bringing us all together. And it's, uh, it's been great. And their teams are both excellent. Like they're, it, you know, I've talked to a lot of the employees from both companies and, you know, they've told me how, uh, how great it is to work for, uh, work for them and how the, the bosses and the, and the, the guys up top are, are, are really good. And, uh, and, uh, so it's, it's been, a, it's been really great. And, uh, you know, I thank them for that and thank them for everything they're doing. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, great group doing great yeah. things and in, in a hard time. So <laughs> yeah, for sure. John, thank you so much. Keep up the amazing work both with photography and the face shields. Send our, our appreciation to everyone there. And um, okay. thank you again. Thank you, Daniel. Thank you.